hello. Hello, hello. Un momento. We're just going to go ahead and make this go into the proper playlist of Hogwarts Legacy. I like everything neat and tidy. And then we're going to get to actually playing the game. Whoops. All right. So let's see here. We have, of course, uh, let's see, we met Professor Fig. We started a little bit of a quest line. Not much else. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some gear. Forgot about that part. Oh, that's odd. My inventory. Mmm. No, I quite like my black leather gloves. Makes me look like a stereotypical movie assassin. Oh my god. Well, I can't. Nothing else. Good. I will find that location. Professor Hecketts. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Challenges. Oh. Legendary gloves. I think I'll be fine. Oh, still an exclamation point somewhere. Ah. Field guide pages. How exciting. I gotta not be so damn OCD about those things, because checking off everything on that list will take a long time. A long, long time. Hmm. What the heck? All right. I suppose it's probably this way. Revelio. Nearly dying Nick, that's what they call him. There we go. Sorry, I needed a bit more volume. Revelio. Protego. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> How about that? I just tried a bunch of different stuff and then it worked. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Um. It's okay. Whoa, whoa. Do you... Okay, just stay, Leia. Sorry, my dog's bothering me. <laughs> just trying to trip up the wires. Hey, it's okay. It's... it's okay. Just stay. Sorry, one second.
Hey, that's better. Now. What were we doing? Ah, yes. Guided the moth to the flame. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yes. The moth. I should have seen that. Mm, yes, you really should have. Well, well, look at me leveling up. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio, Revelio. And now another field guide page is mine. Soon I will become the most powerful wizard. Yeah, well, can't get it yet. This is my quest to follow this waypoint. Oh, I never feel fear. Revelio. Ah, Revelio. Mm. Hello. Memorandum. The 31st of December, 1875. What is chiming? I truly do not know, but I shall endeavor to find out soon. Take that painting. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, that's the Ravenclaw room. could spend all my money on e simps on e thoughts rather i am e th e uh, i ruined the joke i ruined it all right i think if we head up here we'll Rebellion. be good yeah we already got that flu network we're good we're good oh my gosh this school is amazing. Oh, locked. Oh, not locked. Revelio. Dude, this is cool. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. That's really cool. Ah, hello there. Protego. Oops. Lumos. Yes, all right. Got two pillows and a nature painting. There's the two pillars. If there's a nature painting here. Revelio. Places that could be, but Revelio Lumos. So many of these picture puzzles. Revelio. Ah, hello there. So it turns out if you just spam Revelio a shit ton, you'll unlock everything. Prepare for me to spam Revelio a shit ton. Delicious. Oh, I certainly wouldn't want to go to class. Not Rebellion. quite yet. No, I think I want to explore some more. Hello, inferior student. Looks like the artwork and the painting. Revelio. Protego. Oh dear. Revelio. Well, that was worth it. Oh shit, I just went in the girls' room. Well handy resource indeed, your field guide. I don't recall Rebellion. asking you, lady. Aha. Lumos. Come, butterfly. Sh guide you home. I believe this is it. And there we are. <laughs> Wonderful. Wait, 
No, this is back where I started. I think? Was that an entirely separate building? I think it's an entirely separate building. That's fantastic. Hey, quit casting Revelio on us. We don't want to be Revelioed. This is... Herbology? Revelio. Intriguing. Well, hello there. Who are you? Ah. And what's this? Revelio. I'm completely lost now. I'll be perfectly willing to admit that. Oh my goodness. More beautiful things. Huh? What's this? A hit? No, just a fool's hope. Aha! Oh, I could just explore this world. Revelio. More coin. <gasps> the dining hall. I'm sorry, the great hall. Hmm. Well then. Suppose that's all a bit of a waste of time for now. Well, that's easy. Why, oh, that's the speaker's podium. Easiest one of these yet. Come on. Let's get back to your, your little uh, window here. And there's another page I see. Boom. Something else is fourteen. Hmm. 
Seven. And the Hydra. And something else is 24. Oh, that only leaves one, two, or three for the walrus. And that only leaves me to have to guess constantly. Sean Wingblade. Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. Yes, well, you didn't see in the old Harry Potter games. There was a, uh, oh gosh, what was it? It was, um, Stupefy. Yeah, that was like the only attack in the game, and they said it every single time. Stupefy, Stupefy, Stupefy. <laughs> it was the most dumbfounded decision I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's basically all I remember of that. I think that was for the Deathly Hallows Part 2. But yes, I am one of those people who just goes around the school spamming Revelio. And I'm also just going to spam these symbols. Because <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard who doesn't feel like solving the puzzle. And I love that there's no penalty for guessing wrong. I hear it in my sleep. I imagine, Sean, if your kids are anything like I was, which, hope to God, they're not, but um, we would get, if I heard something like that in a game enough times, I would then run around saying it just as many times and constantly in the presence of my parents. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure that was equally annoying. I don't have the patience to sit and figure these puzzles out, so I'm just doing the guessing game. <laughs> ah, see? It works out eventually. Forrester Nivet Gloves. Revelio. Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. Who am I kidding as a kid? I still do it. Revelio. I do like some puzzles, but not that one. Ahem. I'd like to have a few words with all of you. Stop eating so much. Thank you. Hello. Who are you? Curses. Get you next time, Potter. Wait a minute. I could head out this way. Couldn't I? Revelio. Hello. <laughs> uh, who holds the lead in house points? Doesn't matter. Dumbledore will just give it to everybody at the end. Hello. Another puzzle. Revelio. There has to be another one around here. There's always two. Ah, hello. The faculty tower. A 
But where's the second question mark? Die painting. Arvelio. Oh, I already have this one. But now I just have to find this second question mark. Oh god. Not TikTok sounds. Hopefully they don't do the robot voice thing. That still confuses me. Do people just not like their own voice? Or why are they talking like a robot? I don't understand it. The kids. Where is this second circle? Now this is going to drive me nuts. I, I'm fine not being able to do the math. But right now, look at this. There's a circle here. Rebellion. There's the door. And I'm revelling as hard as I can, and I just can't find that other part of the circle. Is it down here? No, that's another flu. Ah. Damn. I was hoping I'd be able to break that priceless vase. Alright, I might actually be able to solve this one, though, because it has two of the numbers. Rebellion. Hello. Gotcha because it has two of the numbers filled in on one circle. Look at this, look at this. So we have five and one is the second question mark, which means that obviously the second question mark, if it's just simple math, which I hope to God it is, would be a five. But what represents a five? Is it simply that fifth symbol up there? That would be too simple. Four, the dragon is a six. Or is it the sum of any two equals that number? Oh. All right, we might be able to figure this one out just because there's two actual answers given. So let's see, 5 and 6 is 11, but then 1 and 6 would obviously not be, so... Well, darn, that didn't work. And it is limited in the amount of spaces here. So, we have weird walrus-like thing, dragon thing, owl on a stick, lizard, spider, or question mark. So we don't have the hydra, the spider, the octopus thing, or the other hydra. Hmm. Well, screw it. Let's just flip this one down here and then go through cycling the rest of them. And yes, I will be that damn boring because I imagine. have to solve this. Was before I invented flu powder. The unicorn. Can't be simple addition, but yeah, I have no idea how these puzzles work. I'm just going to do this for every single one of these. Or cheat. Some might consider this cheating, but those people are uptight. Nah. Yeah, kids, always bring your protection charm with you. Unless you want to have little wizards. All right, we've got the three-headed hydra. Let's see if that's our lucky symbol. Do, 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 do. I should probably actually go to the class after this, because a lot of these puzzles are just locked anyway, so it's completely futile to go exploring this early. It's, 
<laughs> this is so cheap. I can't believe I'm doing this again. I should probably just Google it, but uh, I don't really want to stop playing that long. Yeah, the spider. Spiders. Well, we're running out of possible answers, so soon we'll have it. Darn. Oh, it's going to be the last symbol on the bottom one. I just know it. Is that a honey badger next to a lion? That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Right. We'll try one more. This is enthralling viewing, I know. But, uh, I don't know, jazz hands or something. I'm trying to make it entertaining while I fumble my way through another puzzle. Let's get the Hydra. This is like the Hercules Hydra. We got this, we got this. I got a good feeling. Come on. Come on. What the? It has to be out of options by now. I think I've tried every possible combination. There must be one more symbol on the bottom here that I'm just messing up. No. What? How is that possible? Revelio. Well, you know what? Screw these doors. I'll come back for them later. It's just collectibles. Mmm, nuts. Mmm, apple. It'll make me look like even more of an asshole. <gasps> Hello, another hidden page. Boom. A Wigan Wild Potion. Revelio. And another one. And there's another one. Well, this is easy. Those are Hufflepuff's barrels. Only Hufflepuffs can use those barrels. Sup? Oh, I have never encountered. I am truly exceptional. Thank you for noticing random painting. Revelio. Revelio. Huh. Didn't do shit. Hello. I saw you. And what's this? Voldemort. Hello, what's this? Lumos. Revelio. Yes. 
Lumos. Hmm. And now I suppose we can make our way back. Perhaps. Revelio. Aha, worth it. The lanky, wonderful. Boy, I'm just plowing right through these hidden pages. Did I just go in another girl's bathroom? coming from and I don't much care to find out wait a minute how very odd pretty sure I did choose mail and yet all the mail restrooms are closed for me this kid ain't ever gonna take a shit. That's the main conflict of this game. The Hall of Hermaphrodonia. Revelio. Revelio. Wonderful classical music. All right, we're going to actually do a class here. Yeah, as soon as I get back from the John. One moment.
Sorry about that. Nasty stomach bug going around town. Glad I got that out. Now, let's begin this quest at long last. Double you've got. Uh, <laughs> Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, <laughs> you may be asking I love dramatic how moments with silly outfits. Handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. I would just deny that it existed. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable... I mean, he could have. He was floating, but he still had his wand in his hand. Especially in the heat of battle. Now... Let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something He could have just been like, Avara Kadavra. And she's dead. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Now. Let's try something a little larger. You there, Super Voldemort. Lift Let us this. begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, mm. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. So, now the basic is well done. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair... Of course, it's the Slytherin kid. Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Protego? Complicates things. Levioso. Good form. I know. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be the first duel. Let's just say I'm Let me do this again. Ha 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 ha! Die, Sebastian! Die! Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I didn't get any. Hmm. I'm sensing some tension there. I put you on the spot. And, and here. He rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any I indication, have to question your glasses, boy. They're rather me. silly. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Oh, A die! A jewel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well Practice on today. goblins. Kill every I goblin I see. I've got you, Professor. Assignments. I'll commit outright genocide, All Professor. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is Die, Professor! 
I'm just wrecking your books, Professor. What do you have to say about that? Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Yeah, then I shall kill you, boy. If you know the rights. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, she's old. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was... Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that <laughs> duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Really? It's certainly good practice. It's pretty one-sided. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student Super to be so deft. Pleasure to meet you. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mm. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right. Just about like you. my glasses. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. <gasps> Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Yes. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Oh. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock Bastard. tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. And there we are. Revelio. Revelio. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Really? He didn't hit me once. I mean, geez, guys, how weak are you all? Charms class. I'm afraid I've already got a PhD. Mm. Piss, not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. I love having subtitles on. Ah, classic non copyrighted music. My favorite. Rebellion. Sometimes I have to remind him to finish. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. There we are. Then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. That's it. We're googling. I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot and he says it's a Flack. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> all right, sorry. I am actually Googling not the exact solution to this one, but how to do these in general. Oh, it really is just simple addition. Wow, okay. 
So it's literally, it has to be two. So it's the unicorn. It was so simple, I never even thought of that. But it's not the unicorn. I suppose it could be the spider. Which would make the unicorn... Six, seven, Unicorn would be nine and four. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so the unicorn is two. Add the two numbers you can see. Okay, one second. I think I misunderstood. First of all, Ah, the other one's right here. Okay, so. Unicorn should be two. Plus four. Six. So what we need is a six. And the six symbol is the spider. Good. Now this is the one that doesn't make any sense because it should be a unicorn again.
Okay. Now, sorry about that. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of work late at night. Let's see here. Ah, yes, back to the fun math. Let's see. Okay, so, unicorn plus four. Unicorn is two. Uh, I just don't understand how it's anything other than five. Unless they get more complicated. Okay, start at zero, I see. That's what I was messing up, okay. So that's, the walrus is zero, the unicorn is one. Which means it's four plus one is five, which means we need seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need the octopus, which we have right now, which means it's that. Ah, that was what I was messing up. See, I thought of that simple solution, but I was not accounting for zero. And there it is. I wish there was something I could do to stand up. Revelio. I do that to keep my head. Revelio. Wonderfully detailed environments. I mean, honestly, the open world in this is interesting, unique, full of content. Lumos. Aha. Revelio. This little area alone is more interesting than the entirety of Elden Ring to me, which was just a big, open, clunky mess. This is fantasy done right. Hello. Lumos. Love that they have peeves running around actually doing stuff. Revelio.
There it is. Lumos. Yeah, let's get another one of these little buggers solved. Forbes anymore because I finally solved those damn puzzles. I can't believe starting at zero made it so much better. And now I believe we finally reached Rebellion. the end of the road. It's time to go to class, perhaps. Once I'm done searching these last few rooms. My dear Satyavati. Rebellion. There's a chest. No, it's just a footrest. Oh. Hmm. How disappointing. We might be finally done running around doing extras for right now. We might actually want to go to astronomy class. Is that nearly headless Nick? Rebellion. pet the cat you can pet the cat fantastic 10 out of 10 cheers game I don't even like cats in real life but you should be able to pet them in games Behind you. 
There's an open seat here. Thank you. That's okay. Go away, please. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to uh -huh. year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education. Oh, on I the hate art people that can roll their R's. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Mm. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Yeah, you nerd. Only have one book, you nerd. Everyone point at her and laugh. Thank you. Good job, class. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep Why, thank you. You might just rival Miss Onai here. So many opportunities for offensive That's accents for that. me. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. The professor's crazy. Let's kill him. Uh, I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Mm. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Mwah. Very well. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones. Accio. But instead of throwing... Splendid! Happens to the best of us. to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Mm. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? <sighs> yes, sir. You first, Miss Onai. What's this? Is that the best you can do? That is how it's done. Akio. Ow. 
that's bullshit. It came way faster than before. Nuts. There we go. Akio. Excellent control there. They better let you rematch. They can't just let it stand. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. boring actually. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Oh, what God. Is this? time I gotta get 50s damn yeah she wins even if I get a 50 now it's for not there we go god damn it Hang on, no, I gotta load the game. What the hell, what, what is this? What is this menu? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna beat this girl. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss mm -hmm, Honai, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Damn straight. Watch the. That is how it's done. Akira. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, fuck you. Yes. She only got thirties last time. Oh, God damn it. Well done. Not we well go. enough. All right, we can at least tie this one. Excellent yes. Control there. Tied. Yes. That means I win because you round up. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. Am I a sore loser? Hell yeah. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Yes. Oh, fuck you. There we go. I 
heal. Oh shit! Fuck! Ouch! Well played. Peace up. Are you gonna bump mine, you dumb bitch? That is how it's done. Yes! Alright, bitch, you gotta get a 50 here to have a chance. Come on, you gotta get a 50. You ain't gonna get a 50, you ain't gonna get a 50, you ain't gonna get a 50, you ain't gonna get a 50. doing this until I win. I know this will not Tell matter because it's a one-time thing, but fuck it. I, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? Oh. Very good. That is how it's done. Nicely done. Let us see this. Yeah, yeah, bump your own ball off. Bump your own ball off. Fuck you. Yes. All right, all right. I'm gonna bump your ball off, bitch. Oh, come on. A perfect score. Remarkable. And yet, somehow, she got a perfect score, too. Make this a bit more interesting. All right, I'm gonna beat her this time, though. I'm gonna fucking beat her this time. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Screw you, lady. You suck. I'll say. I hate you. Chatter, focus now. You will need it. I will kill you. This I'm gonna fucking do the all. Avada Kedavra. Here we go. If you beat me at Wizard Bocce Ball, it's well worth a death curse. All right, all right, good. You got 30. That means I can get 50 and win. Oh, no! What? It kept going even after it hit the box? What? I had no idea that that would happen. I thought once it hit the box, it was done. That is how it's done. I had no fucking idea. Wow. There. Yes. Okay, I can win this with a fifty. Let's go, baby. Akio. No, no, no. We are doing it again. I will do this as many fucking times as it takes. God damn it. This bitch is pissing me off now. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad, mad, mad. I want to win Wizard Bocce. Before, and Miss Onai, this Bocce Ball game is red. serious business. Clear? Yes, sir. This bitch is going down. Up. All right. Let's see if I can just ram hers off. Let's go. Oh, come on. That's 
Like mine almost went off and yet somehow hers stayed on. Fuck that. If she gets another perfect score, are you kidding me? She got 30s the first time we played this. Why isn't she getting any more that 30s? This is stupid. Oh, fuck this. This is clearly rigged for her to lose, or for her to win. This is fucking stupid. All right. Oh my God. Okay, okay. We are not doing this until I win the first round. We are changing the rules. Now I have to win the first round. This is stupid. It's making her better each and every fucking time. Are you kidding you me? The blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Is this because I selected the white yes, skin and won't let me win now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I know what you're doing, game. Let us see this. Get a 30. Just get one fucking 30. That's all I ask. Good. Thank you. Thank you. you. That's fair. She can't be perfect every Achille. time. And now I'm ahead. Very good. Here we go. Of course. That is how it's done. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of oh, here. That was yeah. Execution. <laughs> I win. I win. It doesn't even matter if you get 50. You've lost. But you know what? I just want to embarrass you because we haven't technically finished a game yet. So get the fuck out of here. Score. Yeah, yeah. I win. Yeah. Let us make this a bit more. Yeah, a bit more interesting, huh? Good. So I'm better than her. We've established that. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You. This is the greatest game in the history of mankind. It's made me care so much. Let us it's actually a really cool game, Bocce Wizard Ball. It's actually really fucking fun. There we go. Okay, well played, well played, lady. Akio. Shh. You better not bump mine off. You better not bump mine off. Watch this. Oh, she's gonna try to bump mine off, that bitch! Oh my god! Oh! Fuck you. Alright, alright. You gotta get... Okay, I just gotta get a 30. Just gotta get a 30. It's all right. This is it. Two perfect rounds. Yes! Yes! My life is complete. Very good, both of you. Well done. Oh, that was the greatest game of all time. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Basta. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It took me like it an is, hour. Yeah, I promise. What the fuck are you talking about? I beat you.
That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. What the my fuck is a Wagadu? To teach is that like a dog breed or before what? Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were oh, halfway Uganda. around the world at a new is school that... in a new country. Where the fuck is that? Momentum. <laughs> That's what I have to say to this lady. I won. I won. She's a fucking loser. I'm gonna go ahead and read the dialogue while I'm getting this. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Oh, my night is complete. I beat this bitch at wizard Bocce. I hate her so much. Let's keep asking her questions. How dare she try and defeat me? Do you guys see how lopsided those games were at the end? Boom. She's been playing this for weeks. Probably years. Loser. Look, I don't give a shit. Go away. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. If you need it, mid air. Thank you. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. <laughs> but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone what? at Wagadu no uses wands. One. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. Oh wow, I they can cast spells. I find magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Wow. I guess they're better than us at everything. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, better be. I think it's better. Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans. If you're a so word, inclined. If you're Revelio. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? No, well, I have a few notes, an Professor. An competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You oh. did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank <laughs> I you, am Professor. pretty great. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Oh. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hmm. Professor Ronan reminds me of... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Oh, I'm so happy to be past that now. Hello. 
How was your first Hello, day coming Samantha. along? Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Yeah, I beat that bitch. Mm. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Mm. Well, better see to my charms homework. I guess you could say his overconfidence is weakness and my faith in my friends is mine. Ronan. Star Wars reference. I'm unique. Nah. Um. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. My aunt says I should. Rebellion. Another cat. I will pet. Mm -hmm. Accio Revelio Accio Hey Look at that Look at that Levioso <gasps> Ta da! Boom! Boom! Interesting. Quests. This game is awesome. Holy shit. I know I got a little bit caught up in the bocce ball there, but holy fuck, what a game. Revelio. Professor Black, Rebellion. Headmaster. Excellent. Da, 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 da. There's another one of those butterfly paintings around here. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. 
Clearly I need an invisibility cloak of some sort. So we'll leave that for now. Rebellion. Mm, nothing good here. The centaur. And there we are. The unfairness of being hung here, why it warrants looking into. Ta-da! Akio! Things clean as a whistle, but it hurts. Revelio! Vile stench. Oh, what is that poultry doing? I didn't even know that was there. Ah, uh, but I do want to change my glasses. Is the difference? Purple dragonite spec. There is no difference. Hmm. Well, I like how these ones look, so there. Take the additional offense in, a, in exchange for the shitty fashion sense. Actually, that kind of works. Rebellion. I'm not gonna lie, my dude has some swag now. He's not bad. He's not bad. Hello, is that a is that one of those? It is. Lumos. Well that's descriptive. A bunch of pictures on the wall in a corner. Let's see. Oh, there's nobody in here. Man, I think I was meant to go the other way for that one.
Yeah, let's head the other way. Rebellio. Lumos. Aha, uh -huh. and there it is. I like doing these early on because it prevents you from doing a big grind at the end. It's like, yeah, let's just do this. Boom. Plus, they're fun. These are fun puzzles. These are fun collectibles. I liked when games could actually make the checklist not seem like a checklist. Like, I just now thought of that. I'm like, this is an Ubisoft checklist. But the fact that I haven't been thinking about it like that means it's better than... And I hate to say Ubisoft, because they made some great games that don't seem like checklists. Rebellion. So that's a little bit unfair, but I'll say first what Assassin's the Creed. Where it seemed like it was just part of the story. And just part of the fun. And not meant to be a checklist. Revelio. 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 Go to Velio yourself to some miners, kids. See what happens. Hello. Mm -hmm. Level six. Level six. Revelio. Yes, for me. This is fun. Oh my god. This is reminding me of like. Obviously, four generations further. This is reminding me of um, Harry Potter on the PS1. Oh, that much fun this is to just explore the castle. Oh my gosh, this is like a, a childhood charm in a way. It's, it's actually very fun. Hmm, fuck you want, kid. Oh. Ah, Kelpie, that's from like the fourth movie whenever he, fall, he eats the seaweed and shit, right? Yeah. I think it is. I think it is. Revelio. Ooh, sleek coat. I am the great mighty poo. I'm going to throw my shit at you. Lumos. A hallway. Scottish jumper. Hmm. Rebellion. Lumos. All right. Let's find where this damn butterfly is.
Um, it's got to be closer than that. Revelio. Lumos. Aha! We've got it. Brilliant. Brilliant, Hermione. Hermione, you're brilliant. Action. Boom. Boom. Twenty-five! Fuck that! Revelio. I am the great mighty Pooh. I'm going to throw my shit at you. Rebellion. Hmm. Nothing. Let's go ahead and do some illegal dueling. Why not? I am the great and mighty Rebellion. pool of wizards, and I'm going to throw my wand at you. See, I mixed it up pretty good. Hey. Leviosa. Boom. I know how to do that now. Yeah, level six, baby. Revelio. Revelio, Revelio, Revelio. <gasps> Hello. <Accio. laughs> another one Revelio Well shit point of this shit because I have no idea. Better kitty.
Let us head down. Oh, whoever played that note needs to reconsider their Oh. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Lumos. Accio. Hmm. Can't seem to do anything with that right now, so we will move on to the next thing. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. Levioso. Boom. Give me that. Rebellion. Interesting. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Yeah, I kicked his ass. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross one? Yes, work I'll kill exactly? you all. You about sure a cadaver. Are. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. I don't give a fuck what you think, you curly haired brat. I'll fucking kill Next you. Time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, can yeah, step into the ring? Yeah, I'll kick all your asses, yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Oh no. It will be simply death, boy. We'll make you regret signing up. Whoa, that seems a little hyper aggressive, but alright. wasn't wrong about you there's strong competition ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall now it takes time to organize these duels but check with me later i may have something lined up for you again I'm rather congratulations powerful on your first crossed ones victory well fought i mean really not Let's they didn't get a single hit on me but thank you <laughs> Fools. Mm, now I shall kill the rest. Defense, defense, defense. Yeah, I don't need defense. Again, don't need defense. Offense, however. Hmm. 
Hmm, not bad. Now, it's only about 10.30, we still got another hour and a half to go. One moment, we'll go take a piss. Sorry guys, was just briefly checking in. I mean, I was taking a piss, but then I was briefly checking in on the penguins who are apparently up on the avalanche. And I'm trying not to jinx them. They're probably gonna lose. So that's my avoidance of jinxing them because if I was jinxing them, I would say, oh, they're for sure gonna win. They're up four two with like five minutes left. I'm trying not to jinx them. So I'm gonna say they have just as much of a likelihood of losing, but they are up four two with five minutes left. The Panthers lost to the Flyers. So. They're the other team going for the wild card spot right now. Rebellion. It just kind of gave me new fucking life. Holy shit. We're going to get back in the lead in the wild card standings. Let's do it. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. That movie won't be made for over a hundred years, Deke. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Oh, hi, Deke. Ah, there you are. Here I am. Pedophile, Professor. I ah! trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? 
I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Eh, probably. <laughs> Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. I don't know what the fuck that you means, lady, but whatever. To build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. Ronan, fact, a samurai without Professor a master. Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. And I now, will kill him. About a cadaver. Mr. Hogsmeade, I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Mm. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Thank you, Professor. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Hmm... I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Very well, I shall work with transfiguration There's magic now. There's an in There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're Diagon Alley. Have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps as Sebastian long as not that bitch that was playing me in volleyball, um, volleyball, volleyball bocce ball. Hmm. I kind of hate them both. <laughs> I'd like to go with Natty. I'll Excellent go with Natty. I'll be called a fucking I'm racist if I don't. <laughs> She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once hmm. you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Are you encouraging alcoholism, Professor? Because if so, you're really cool. And I like you. Rebellion. God, my throat is fucked. Do 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 pet the kitty. Rebellion. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, 
makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than God. one would imagine. As Professor Weasley That's mentioned, so cool. I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Mm. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Akio. Hmm. Revelio. This is the right area. I've got it. A boom. Let me also. Revelio. Page must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? If only mm. a student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Fuck you, one bitch. I am? So I'm knows. super Voldemort. I don't need to know who you are. School hates for no reason. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Mm. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Shut the Grounding. fuck up. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Oh, no. They're like Birdie Bot's ever-flavored beans. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own mm. fault for losing. <sighs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Aww. I'll let you know if I find one. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Mm. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Hmm. Why are you, like, so much smaller than me? Shouldn't we be, like, four years apart minimum? I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find Sorry. all of my gobstones, One moment. I have to celebrate the Stanley Cup champion defending victory. By myself in One no time. moment.
we're back and we are going to help this bitch out I guess I don't know why but we're doing it I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones Rebellion. Sure, exactly how to get up there. Ah, here we go. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, get on all the other gobstones, gotcha. Hello, 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 hello. Revelio. One die on Professor Black's direction. All right. One moment. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh, hello, little chest there, the non perverted kind. And, um, Rebellion. Okay. Actually, I am going to. Oh, sorry. Gonna call it quits right here. Because uh, my brother wants to play some Diablo 4, and I don't feel like setting up a whole separate stream for that. So, uh, we are gonna call it quits here for tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow. Till then, stay plus ultra. This is a fun fucking game. Holy shit. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Override this shit. Let's go. All right.